now that we've covered the NAVCOM portion of it, let's get into the good stuff, the GPS side of this box. And this is where it shines. Um, first thing, if you're following along with your simulator, I'm starting out in Wichita, Kansas, identifier as ICT. You can go to the options bar on top of the screen and go to initialize position. And now with the inner cursor, you'll scroll in your letters. We put K in front of a three letter identifier for an airport. Outer knob does your cursor position, and we're going to India, Charlie Tango. Now that's what's fantastic with this simulator. You can put in your home identifier, and it will have the unit sitting at your home airport, and you can practice approaches that you do in real life. So now I've got the unit sitting in Wichita, Kansas, and if we zoom down, you'll be able to see actually down to the, uh, to the runway layout. And what I'm pressing here is the range key. There's upper or lower and upper. And down here in the bottom corner, it says what scale we're on. Right now, we're a five mile scale top to bottom. Right now, we're sitting in Wichita, Kansas, and we're gonna fly up to Johnson County Executive Airport in Olathe, Kansas. This is gonna be an exciting flight across Kansas, gonna love it. So the first thing we wanna do, we wanna go direct to that airport. So you press direct to. Now at the little knob, we do our letters. Again, we start out with a K since we're going to a three letter identifier. Now the outer knob does our cursor position and we're gonna go to Oscar, Juliet, Charlie. So I do my O, J, C. There it is. And it's nice also, if you look below, it tells me it's Johnson County Executive Olathe, Kansas, so I know I've entered the right identifier. I press enter once and activate is highlighted press enter again and we're going there. So right now you can look down the right hand side here. We're going to OJC. It's 54 degrees on our heading. It's 146 nautical miles and right now we don't have any ground speed because we're just sitting on the ground. That's all you need to know to get started. I've shown you the NAVCOM, how it works. You learn how to do a direct to. You can start flying with the box. But let's get into a little bit more of how it's laid out. 